Welcome to DataViz Dev Talk. I'm your host, Minhas Kazi, developer advocate for Data Studio. In this video, we'll talk about community connectors and how you can use them to fetch your data in Data Studio. Let's get started. Data Studio helps you to organize, access, and understand your information. Although different individuals and businesses have different needs, it is often useful to have a comprehensive view of their data. You might have data from different sources, social media, analytics, advertising, etc. You might also have organizational data including sales, finance, and human resource. Your data can be hosted and available in different places. You might have on-premise private data. For example, you might have marketing information on a MySQL server on your corporate network. You can have private data on the cloud. Maybe you're using Firebase database for your application. You can also be using data from commercial platforms like Google Analytics and Google Ads. Another interesting use case is using public data sets. A prime example of that is the BigQuery public data set, which is available for everyone to use. If you want to analyze and visualize your data, you'll need to connect to your data in Data Studio. And that's where connectors come in. Data Studio provides a number of connectors for you to connect to your own data. You can connect to a GCP data source like Sheets, BigQuery, Cloud SQL, Cloud Storage, and Cloud Spanner. You can connect to different Google services like Google Analytics, Google Ads, Search Console, YouTube Analytics, Attribution 360, and more. There are also connectors available to connect to your own instances of MySQL and Postgres. But what if your data is not in any of these sources and is in somewhere else? Well, in that case, you can use community connectors. Community connectors are custom connectors that you can create using AppScript. AppScript is Google's scripting language. It is a JavaScript platform on the cloud. You can access it by going to script.google.com. AppScript lets you do more with Google. Using it, you can increase the power of all these Google applications by using their API and also by building custom add-ons. So when you create your own custom connector using AppScript, you can fetch data from almost any internet accessible data source. You can use web API endpoints, flat files like CSV, JSON, XML, databases with JDBC APIs, and also many AppScript services. In this video series, we will show you step-by-step step how you can build your own connector. Once you've built a community connector, you can obviously use it yourself to bring in your own data into Data Studio. Now your coworker sees you using that connector and thinks that it will be useful for them. They don't have to build it from scratch again, you can just share your connector with specific users. After a certain time, several people in your organization start using your connector and it gets really popular you can make it securely available within your organization. That way, anyone in the organization can use it, but the access and the data remain secure. You can also make your connector available to everyone. And one of the ways you can do it is by publishing it to the Data Studio Partner Connector Gallery. There are more than 100 connectors available that connect to over 500 data sources. You can try out these partner connectors by visiting the gallery at datastudio.google.com slash data. So that was an overview of community connectors. In our next video, we will talk about how community connectors work. You can always go to our developer site at developers.google.com slash datastudio for more information. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the GCP channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.